Hey guys, Sean from Living Seeds, your seed guru. So this morning we are in our show garden. We are walking down our brassicas. These are a whole lot of mustards over here. Um, and we're going into, into the cabbages and the cauliflowers. I've got a whole lot of cabbages growing over here. Um, and there's just, I think there must be about 30 different kinds of brassicas growing in the show garden. And what I wanted to highlight today was um, the importance of planting open pollinated vegetable varieties. So um, the two main differences, we're not going to talk about GMO seed um, because they're not freely available to the home gardener, but the two main um, seed varieties available to the home gardener are open pollinated seed and hybrid seed. Now, there really isn't anything wrong with hybrid seed. Hybrid seed has a number of reasons why um, it's, 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 it's important to use hybrid seed and I can give you a very good example. You've got a farmer, he is growing cabbages for the market and he plants hybrid seed in that field and what happens is when it's ready to harvest he puts a team of people into that field, they harvest the entire field, he puts it onto a truck, sends it off to the market, job done, he can now work that field again for the next crop. If the same farmer planted open pollinated seed what would happen is that you'd have a staggered ripening effect where you'd have certain certain heads are ripening earlier than other heads and what happens is the farmer needs to send people into that field on a regular basis every two weeks or so they have to go into the field lift the heads send the heads to the market and it's multiple trips to the market that puts his cost up it's multiple people working in the same field or or multiple entries into that field which which means more fuel more labor costs etc whereas a home gardener if you box smart um, and you, if you come to living seeds uh, farm and you look in our show garden you'll actually be able to see this and i'll show you now um, exactly what i'm talking about but open pollinated seed seed uh, because of its genetic it's it's inherent genetic diversity excuse me over there what happens is that you have different heads that are ripening earlier than other heads. Now, if you're a home gardener and you plant 20 cabbages and they hybrid seed, you are going to have 20 cabbages ripe on the same week. And you're going to be eating cabbage for a week, maybe two weeks, and handing out a whole lot of cabbages. It makes a lot more sense for a home gardener to use open pollinated seed and then what you do with that seed or what you do with the plants is because it has staggered ripening you get a cabbage this week maybe two cabbages this week if you're lucky you get three cabbages you can give one cabbage away you make coleslaw you use it in stir fries whatever you want to do and it just makes open pollinated um, seed so much more sense for the home gardener so this is um, one of the varieties we've planted we've planted Every single cabbage variety that we stock, we've actually planted out. Um, and we do about 15, 15 odd plants of each variety. So as you can see a nice spread of, of the plants. So this one over here is Green Express. It was planted on the 22nd of, it was transplanted on the 22nd of, of March. So it's been in the ground for 60, 65 days. Today is the 26th of, it's 26th of May today, hey? Huh? It's the 28th of May today. I'm losing a couple of days. It's the 28th of May today. So it's about 65, um, 65 odd days, 64 odd days um, that this has been in the ground. And what, what Courtney's going to do now is she's going to come along and she's going to just do a pan shot over these cabbages and show you that we have different ripening progression on the plants. Excellent. So this is Green Express. As you can see, we have a staggered ripening, which for a home gardener is exactly what you're looking for. The last thing you want is to have 15, 20 cabbages already in the same week. For a commercial farmer, this is probably a disaster because they have to spend that much more time and effort to harvest it. If we have a look at this one over here, this one is, is nice and big. It's ready to harvest. It's a nice early 65 days cabbage. This one's got another week to go. This one over here, maybe another week, week and a half before we can harvest them. So we can literally start eating cabbage this evening. Um, and we transplanted 65 days ago, which is really, really cool. So we've spoken about the, um, 
the staggered ripening in, in Green Express. And it's really, really fantastic for a home gardener to be able to leverage the, um, the inherent genetic traits of open pollinated seed. So if you are smart, and we actually have an earlier ripening cabbage called Mishihili cabbage. So Mishihili cabbage, you can start harvesting in about 50 days, which is really, really cool. So Mishihili cabbage, you plant um, Green Express, you plant Red Express, you, maybe a Savoy cabbage for a little bit of, of, of difference, um, a drumhead cabbage, and you'll be in cabbage in your garden for four, maybe even five months which is phenomenal if you think about it, because all you need to do is you take your, um, your seeds, you plant up your seeds in one batch, um, all four or five varieties, you plant all of the seeds in a single batch, then what you do is you transplant all of those seeds exactly on the same day. All of these cabbages were planted on the same day, but there's staggered ripening, and this is, what, and this is where the benefit is. So as a home gardener, what, what you do is you have... Um, minimized effort for a maximized harvest and that is thinking smart it's using the ability of the of the open pollinated seed to literally work for you guys i sincerely hope that this is that this has helped you if you are in the midval area come visit living seeds farm you can come to the show garden we've got peas that are starting to ripen you can come and taste all of the different cabbages we've got mustards growing we've got swiss chards growing we've got all of the um, spinach varieties growing, we've got kale varieties, there's all sorts of things that are growing at the moment. Um, and you can come and taste them and decide for yourself what you'd like to plant. Guys, thank you very much. Please subscribe over here and we've got a whole host of videos that you can watch over here as well.